We're going to look for some other possibilities here. Really, jujitsu is not uh, a Lee Murray dance school or whatever, where it's like one, two, cha cha cha. Okay, it's more like a set of tools and principles to control. I have to be ready to switch my tools. Okay, so a few things when I get to here and he's on his elbows, a few landmines that I want to avoid. Okay, one of the landmines is for me to wrap around and put my hand on his chest or his belly. Okay. This will only be much of an issue against someone who knows some jujitsu. Do you know how to do a makikomi, like how to roll someone from here? Uh, I think uh, Matthew does. Go on in here. He's talking about wanting to do a makikomi, all right? So one thing is, if I, if I do this, I wrap around here, there's the possibility of him grab and roll. That's a, that's that's something I don't want to have happen to me. So I'll, I'll rarely put my hand under and grab his belly or his chest or reach under and like grab a far arm or something like that. Another thing that I'm not too keen on is he's on top of me. Ah, see, he has a he's he's a wrestler, okay? He puts his hand right on this like arm. That's what I want. Let's just say you don't, okay? Put your hand just on the ground or something like that. One of his concerns is another kind of reversal like this, okay? So I have two things that I consider kind of landmines when I, when I go to the side. So one of the two things I, I'm generally not gonna do or things I'm going to do when I get to here, this hand, I'll usually put it like a C-clamp right behind the elbow, okay? I don't want him to bring that elbow into me and be able to just toss me off of him. It, it'll look, Cody's just really, he's a strong guy. I could have Philip do it, but he's, he's on the camera or whatever. He doesn't have to be that technical. If you just bring that elbow back into me, just, just bring it up here and just bring it across. Like, don't even worry about doing the technical. Just, just go like, boom, and just drive me off. Yeah, like, it's totally possible, okay? Big, strong guy, he'll just toss you right off of him, okay? Cody doesn't know how to do the makikomi, but just wrap my arm with that other arm and just roll. Yeah, and it's like, some people call it the fat man roll, okay? If, if he's big enough, strong enough, and gosh darn it, people like him, he'll roll you, okay? Like don't, so I have two things with my hand positioning. One, I never come in like that, okay? Two, I wanna put this on the arm here, okay? To kind of, now when he tries to just shrug me off with that elbow, it's hard work. I might even switch it to what I like. Does that make sense? I can take advantage of those things. This, I don't do that. I'm usually more like here. Or I'm going to give you another option, which is a little bit safer. Not, nothing, nothing is truly safe in jujitsu. Okay. I got my 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 little uh, leg staple here. And I'm going to come in here. I'm going to reach deep inside his thigh. My el my thumb is turning down. You see how it kind of moved his body. My shoulder turns into him. This is called a thigh pry. It's a strong grip. When he tries to reach for my arm and utilize it, it's hard. It's not an easy thing for someone to take that out of there, okay? I don't need to stay there for a very long time. There's a lot of neat little things I can do with this. What we're gonna look at now is, I don't feel, he didn't try to get up right away, and I'm gonna choose a more conservative route, which is to go to his back. So from here, I'm gonna move just behind him, okay? And I wanna put my chest on his lower back, and I can put kind of double five prize in here, but more important is my elbows are gonna squeeze his hips, and my knees are gonna squeeze his hips like this. And now when he moves around, I'm kind of just floating on him. It makes it quite a bit more tiresome than you think, okay? I'm here. My knees are pinching his hips, my elbows are pinching his hips, okay? My, what I want for control is here, okay? If I start looking to control up here, you can see the obvious problem, okay? I start to fall off of them. But my elbows and my knees, whichever I've got, as, as much as I can, I wanna use those to cinch his hips, okay? And then I'm kind of floating. I'll let him move around or whatever. Cody's a bigger guy than me, so he moves around and makes it look probably easier than it's gonna feel for most of you. If I do that with someone more smaller than me, maybe Joshua here, you won't see as much movement, okay? I'm here, I put my thigh pry in, and I go around the back. I get elbows and knees on those hips, and when he goes to move, it's not so easy, right? Like, 
he makes that look a lot easier than it is, right? I want to be pinching that. I'm kind of on my toes. I don't, I will literally with someone big, let them take my toes off the ground, but I'm just sandwiching those hips with my thighs and my arms, okay? Elbow and hip, okay? One, two, three. 